This is Hadar. He built off-road race cars. This is Michael. He's a driver. Together, they compete all around the world. And right now, they're gonna show us just how it's done. The world of off-road racing isn't like your typical sport because these races take competitors through deserts, mud, and mountain terrain. These guys don't only have to beat their fellow drivers, they also have to beat the elements. Something like maybe 20% from the cars that are starting in the race only get to the finish. The other 80% break in the, in the way. So it's a uh, survival. Michael and Hadar compete in one of the most difficult types of off-road events, known as Ultra 4. These races combine the hardest parts of off-road racing to create one terrifying course. The majority of cars don't even make it across the finish line. They say in Ultra 4, in order to finish first, first you have to finish. In Ultra 4, a strong car could literally be the difference between life and death. These guys race on some rough terrain, so flipping over and crashes are expected. One person died because he wasn't uh, with the belts like he should, and he's, he flew from the vehicle, and the vehicle rolled all over him. You need a world-class builder like Hadar, who can design a car that's up for the job. He built his very first buggy nearly two decades ago when he was only 13 years old. Today, the mechanic has his own workshop where he designs car parts from scratch and builds cars ready to drive through whatever the duo may face on the open road. The roll cage is so uh, strong that you can roll over 20 times and nothing will happen to you. Now, Hadar's creations might be safe, but riding around in them is still not for the faint at heart. That's where Michael comes in. The father of three has made a name for himself racing in the most challenging Ultra 4 events across Europe. In the world of Ultra 4, the king of the hammers race in California is the crown jewel. And for this year's race, Michael decided to bring the man who built the car himself to serve as his right-hand man. So he's driving the fast uh, parts and I'm driving the technical ones. And this uh, combined it was very good for us. To make it in off-road racing, it takes intelligence, endurance, and skill. But above all, you need passion. The energy is so high. When you finish the race, I think I can lift a building with my hands. This is what we like. This is what we live for, I think. Now, Michael's working to produce his own off-road race here in Israel so that he can share his passion and make the sport more popular.